Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can achieve that halftime sound without any plugins in Logic Pro X. I've watched a couple other videos on other channels and uh, they explain it, but they don't really explain it in the right way. So this tutorial is also not about just how to achieve that sound, but also understanding what halftime does. With that being said, let's get into it. I've imported a sample from one of our sample packs on Frequency.com called Analog Waves Volume 2. I'll let you hear it really quick. This is without any effects on it. have this same sample um, right below it and I actually put a halftime uh, plugin on this but again we're going to show you how to do this without any plugins but I want to make a comparison between what uh, what we hear in Logic and what we hear inside of the uh, the actual plugin here it is uh, the loop is set to one bar All right, cool, so that sounds fire. And that's the sound that we're gonna try to achieve. We're gonna try to loop this in one bar, all right? Let me mute this one channel again and we'll unsolo uh, this other guy right now. If you were to uh, turn on your flex time, and this is how I saw it in the other video, and select your speed effects, uh, what the gentleman told you was to just double it up. So you're stretching this basically for another uh, eight bars like so, and this is what you get. Okay, so right off the bat, you can already tell that it's not the same type of sound that we're hearing over here. What this halftime plugin is doing is basically looping the half speed only for one bar okay so it's it's going from here if i were to zoom in like this you could see it goes from nine to ten so it's only looping that part or it's it's looping that part with the half time speed on okay so how can we achieve this sound uh you know without any plugins uh, we will undo what we did so we have our flex time enabled we have this guy turned on and we have speed enabled the first thing you want to do is cut your sample so you can come up here to your command tool and select the scissor tool and hit command on the keyboard and then just start slicing at every bar. Okay, so just like that. The next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Let's turn flex time off for a second. And what we'll do is lengthen this for only half a bar so that when we're playing it in half time, it's actually going to play an entire bar, but only this part of the sound, okay? So let's go back to flex time, make sure speed's enabled, and what we'll do is uh, wait for the symbol to pop up, and then we could drag it out like so. All right, let's have a listen to that. So parts of the audio uh, from the original audio are not playing because it's looping only one bar. Uh, let's try something like half loop or, you know, half bar loop. So if we were to come over here, actually, first thing I'm going to do is undo that. And uh, we'll come in solo this portion out. And I have half a, uh, half a bar loop uh, selected here. And let's just loop that like so. That's different, you know, versus this one. This one's a little dragged out more. So how can we achieve a half bar loop? Let's uh, solo this guy out again. And now what we'll do is if we're trying to achieve a half loop, what we need to do is uh, actually chop it one more time. So I'm gonna chop it uh, here. We'll select our scissor tool and I will chop it uh, in between. And if you have uh, Smart Snap enabled, then, you know, the closer you get to that uh, that line, uh, the more accurate you can be with your uh, with your cuts. Okay, so now that we've cut it again, I'm going to select all of them again, and we'll turn flex time off, and then we're just going to shorten it like so. Okay, now we'll turn flex time back on. Speeds enabled, right? Speed effects, 
And now we can come in here and drag it out again. And let's see if that matches up to this here. So as you can see here, we achieved the half bar loop now using that method, uh, that, that chopping method and then dragging it out. So the main goal of this video is uh, obviously uh, providing the right type of information to you guys so that you can really understand uh, you know, how plugins like Halftime work. I really appreciate again that you uh, took the time to watch this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you guys are notified anytime I upload new content. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.